Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's pick a card reading, I wanted to do something different. For a start, I wanted to be outside. I wanted to be outside because we've been having some really hot days here in Sydney, Australia. And I thought it would be good to sit on the grass. Perhaps you'll be able to hear the rustle of the wind in the leaves. And of course the occasional car, I think there was a car just then. You might also hear the rumble of thunder. That is going about, I think just, God, just above me there are massive, massive storm clouds. So I am going to have to get on and finish this quite quickly. I wanted to be outside as well because I wanted to slow the pace of the day. I wanted to bring a different energy into the reading. I wanted to have a change of scene. I wanted to be outside of the room, basically. I think when it comes to feminine energy, it is good to change the scene. It's good to change the pace. It's important to slow down. It's good to be outside. It's good to not rush. And we've also got to maintain our boundaries as well. I was thinking about that yesterday when I was thinking about this topic of feminine energy. How important it is to maintain boundaries, how important it is to say no. How important it is to both be receptive, right, when it's, when it's good, uh, when it's a good thing to, to take in perhaps what another has to say or what another has to offer us or whatever it is. We do have to receive and that's a very feminine energy but in that receptivity we've also got to be conscious of when to say no, where to say no, how to put up a boundary, how to yeah, how to how to preserve ourselves. So feminine energy, why has that come up as an as a topic at the moment? I do believe that the collective is really crying out for some feminine energy right now. And more than ever right like the planet needs feminine energy so if you are looking to contribute to the healing of the collective consciousness then I would say try to be as receptive and open and open-minded as you can be so yeah taking things sure um, you can be discriminating so if if say for example you're taking in things and you recognize oh I don't I don't like this or I don't like that then say no put a boundary put the phone down or you know go out for a walk or, or whatever it is um, it's a real balancing act right now guys it's a real balancing act and balance is key right Venus Libra balance is is very key so you can see a little ant right there <laughs> it's got bugs crawling all over this I've got some jasmine here this jasmine is absolutely beautiful um, it smells incredible it's fresh from our garden so I thought I'd just put that there but as with any reading please do choose um, from between group one group two or group three uh, these little ants are joining obviously hello ants <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna bring to the reading but um, well they want to be here there's two of them uh, what's going on they're not together I don't know. maybe they're having an argument Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you in your reading, guys. Welcome, Group 1. If you chose Group 1, then welcome to your reading. Let's take a look at your cards. It's kind of getting a bit dark, isn't it? But there's a nice reflection here of the trees, which is quite sweet. If you hear the rumble of thunder, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> I'll be sure to rush in when, when the sun goes down and the rain starts. I did see a drop earlier. I'm going to have to remove Mr. Ant over here because he is... Come on, Ant. Come on. Come on, you can do it. That's it. Oi, oi, oi. Come on, come on, come on. What a way to start. What does this mean? Are you working hard, Group 1? Actually, I, I have seen your cards. Hmm, how do we work the Ant into the reading? I might cut some of this by the way there we go okay right so you have got group one you've got the page of pentacles 
in reverse. You have got the King of Swords upright. As with any of my readings, please make sure you use your discernment. Uh, take on board what resonates and please discard anything that doesn't resonate with you. And as always, if you get into it and you feel like, no, this isn't me, then click off. Watch a different video. Um, might not be for you. Okay. Seven of Cups upright. Okay. Fantastic. What else do we have here? You've got a really interesting spread, by the way. I must say, um, you know, when, when it comes to feminine energy, look who, look who turned up. Mars. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is a really interesting spread. Look at that gold and blue. I absolutely love these cards. So beautiful. We've got all that glitters. That's uh, number 16 there. And for Venus, because this time I wanted to work with Venus energy, we've got Venus in the ninth house. Okay, so let's... I will read all the cards together, but I want to... I want to start by just checking in with your feminine energy. What is this spread saying about your feminine energy or the state of your feminine energy or where you're at? It's a really interesting spread. It took me by surprise that Mars showed up and we've got this page of pentacles here. We've got the king of swords upright. All that glitters isn't gold. This overall, this is quite a masculine spread. From an overall point of view, the other thing that came up into my mind immediately when I looked at this for the first time was Venus in the ninth house. I immediately thought of Ramdas, and I thought somebody here might need or might need to tune into Ramdas or could benefit from listening to a Ramdas lecture. If you've never heard Ramdas before, he's an American spiritual teacher, absolutely beautiful man. He uh, was a Harvard psychiatrist. Yes, I think he did prescribe medication. Psychologist at the very least. I think he was even a professor there. I know he was an academic at Harvard. He flew planes. Um, he was just a phenomenal man. And he ended up giving up everything when he met his guru, Neem Karoli Baba. So definitely somebody here could benefit from the teachings of Ram Das. That was one of the early things that came up. But this thing about... Mars and this being a rather strong masculine spread I felt I felt that it was quite masculine is it's either saying for some of you and I felt like it was a few of you it might be saying that you are quite strongly in your masculine side and you might benefit from the teachings of someone like Ram Das or spiritual teachers who are women okay so some of you the message for some of you is that you know take a bit of time out uh, from the everyday find some spiritual teachers let's see some female spiritual teachers I would recommend you to well Byron Katie is popping into my mind right now to do the work we've got the king of swords there she's got like ace of swords queen of swords king of swords she's got the lot she's a real swords lady so you could check out Byron Katie. She's a very, very intelligent, sharp operator. So you could check her out. Who else for Venus in the ninth? Hmm. Spiritual teachers, women. Let's see who pops into my mind. Pema Chodron just popped into my mind as well. But I'll, I'll keep thinking as we do your reading. So for a few of you, it is that. But interestingly, with this spread, I feel like the majority of you you actually need to step up your masculine energy. Isn't that interesting? That's what really surprised me about this group because I was getting into it and I was like, wow, okay, these people need to be doing more. So, and I thought this whole reading was going to be advice about encouraging people to do less or to relax or to rest or something like that. But actually for you guys, I feel like you need to step it up. I feel like you need to be doing more. I feel like you need to be more in your doing energy. So if you are massively in your doing energy, then you need the guidance of Venus in the ninth. And you need to be spending time with female spiritual teachers or Ram Das or somebody along those lines, okay? But for everybody else, you need to step things up, okay? You do need to work. You need to put the energy in. And 
where it's going to be it's so I feel like there's something around maybe your work that you're doing or, or um, something where you're not committed or you're not putting the work in or there's something to do with your work maybe where you I don't want to say you're not working hard enough because I do feel like you are working maybe you're unenthused by your work at the moment and that's why you can't you are looking around you are looking around for other things in your line of work or you're looking for the next stepping stone or you are looking for the next thing but here's where you need to step it up okay and this this could be in your personal life this could be in your family life sure it could be to do with work or your work but I I'm not sure what this is to do with exactly but okay here's what it is you know the truth okay you absolutely know the truth oh the battery's flashing doesn't matter if it cuts out I'll put another battery in you know what the truth is and I feel that because that's in connection with this all that glitters isn't gold you can see you can see through everything your intuition is right okay and I'm here to tell you that you know the truth and that yes do something about it you got to do something about it you can't just sit on the truth and not do something that is what I'm getting strongly in this group okay so yeah it's it's a really really interesting spread this one I feel like you and you're very intelligent you're extremely intelligent you know the truth and I feel like you you know what to do in this situation that you're in and that was the thing that I also thought about you might have to call something or someone out and I've had to do that sometimes and it's really something that I don't like doing I don't like calling things out people out I, I, I don't like confrontation I don't like any of that but I feel like there's some situation where maybe you're being asked to call something out okay but you're m massively intelligent and I feel like if you use that sharp intellect of yours and you balance it out with some heart energy okay you are going to need some Venus energy you're going to need to find a way that's soft and gentle to call out this thing and this might be to do with something you've called out in the past and you're not sure did I do the right thing I'm here to tell you you did the right thing okay so this might be to do with your past or it might be to do with the situation that you're in right now the other thing that you've got here which is quite amazing and beautiful is this which is the seven of cups upright so you've got a lot of opportunities in front of you you've got a lot of choice you've got a lot of timelines that are kind of available and that are opening up for you at this time so dream big wish big you've also got good fortune on your side with Venus in this position here so I feel like the future is definitely going to be good for you um, about this hi everyone sorry about that it just cut out and I was trying to I don't know I was trying to get the new battery in but basically this is a really good reading this is a really good spread you got a huge number of new possibilities new timelines that have opened up for you fortune is on your side so dream big and choose well because you could set some incredible cycles into motion right now and they could be quite large okay so these could either be projects or things you want to manifest this year or in the coming years right that's I think the scale of the timelines that are opening up but I do feel like I've, I really feel like you've got you've got some kind of intuition combined with intellect that's that's putting you in touch with the truth and I do feel you're being asked to do something about it and it almost feels like if you do something about it that's going to benefit your career as well the the stagnancy if there's something that's not working for you career-wise or your not feeling committed work-wise or you're bored or you're looking for that next step or something like that 
if you commit to truth and if you speak truth and if you act on truth you're going to be just fine okay so really excellent reading group number one as I say it's with the feminine energy check-in it feels like you've got to we've got to up the, the masculine energy um, which is so interesting such a fascinating thing because if you clicked on this wanting to hear something that was more you know you need to relax or have a spa day well I'm sorry but <laughs> you know you 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 know you're, you're a gifted person intellectually you have access to the truth you're meant to do something about it so there we have it group number one thank you so much for tuning in i'm wishing you the best guys if you're finding it challenging right now the energies are pretty chaotic uh, i've had to slow down i've been slowing down my work because i've felt yep things are a bit crazy so um if you feel that way don't hesitate to uh you know ease off where you have to but the yeah you'll be shown what you'll be shown what it is that you need to do you'll be shown okay tune in with your higher self it will show you exactly what you need to do all right group one take care thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you next time Hi there group two. If you chose group number two, then you're in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Okay, so as with any of my readings, please make sure you take on board what resonates, but please disregard anything that doesn't resonate. And if you get midway through this reading, you feel like it's not you, you don't have to watch it. You can click onto another video. Okay, so we've got the eight of cups in reverse that's a good that's a very good card to have in reverse I do like that it's a positive sign we've got the seven of cups upright interestingly we had that in group one as well so there's and that's what's indicating to me there's massive number of timelines opening up for everybody across the board uh, we've got the nine of pentacles in reverse we have got Gemini we've got the chop wood card really love that how oh, sweet and for Venus we're working with Venus energy today you've got Venus in the 11th house how beautiful all right so as an overview when we're checking in with your feminine energy where is it at i would say it's quite good i'd say you're quite balanced i don't get any sense that you are too much on one side or the other what i would say it's really interesting group one had a very um well a bit more of a masculine thing going on you've got I'd say you're quite balanced. I don't see that there's you're skewed too much one side or another when it comes to feminine energy. What I would say, and there's a little ant who wants to join. Come on, ant. Do you want to move? I think he wants to be there. Let him be there. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. What I see with this reading is that I think you're ready to let go of an old lifestyle an old phase of life okay wonder where this ant wants to go come on do you want to join there we go all right no okay well, he wants to go there i'm more concerned about the ant how terrible basically what i see with this spread is that you're willing to walk away from an old lifestyle from a lifestyle that that no longer does it for you anymore right this could be to do with um a change of perspective a change of what you want in life I feel like you've you've changed in what you want in, out of life I think maybe say several years ago you might have wanted a very different sort of a lifestyle and I feel like you're walking away 
from those old dreams. And in the walking away of those old dreams and of pursuing what it is that you used to want, because we've got here Venus in the 11th house. This is Venus in the house of hopes, dreams and wishes. So something in your life that you used to want, you don't want it anymore, right? And because of that, a whole new series of timelines and opportunities and possibilities is opening up for you right now. Now, you might get a whiff of that or, or get a hint of it or, you know, a year from now. Do you know what I mean? Like these new timelines that are opening up right now. You might start to see that come forward for you a few months from now, a few weeks from now. I don't know the exact timing. But what I know is that you've got a whole range of new timelines that are opening up for you. It's very exciting. And these could be big timelines. So it's the kind of thing that is manifesting for you right now. But as I say, yeah, as I say, you will start to encounter that a year from now. But these could be massive. These could be massive, massive things. So that's why it's, it's like meeting the love of your life. You might meet the love of your life a year from now. Do you know what I mean? And that could be a 30-year cycle that opens up. You're going to be with that person for 30 years, right? So when it's that kind of big, massive, long-term thing, it, it's not too hard to wait a year or a couple of years, if you know what I mean, right? It, it's like you'd gladly wait for something that's going to be really good. So I do see that you are successfully walking away from an old lifestyle, old things that you that no longer interest you anymore, old hopes, dreams and wishes, and it's going to make room for the new. It's really, really exciting. This is such beautiful energy in this spread. You've also got the Gemini card. One of the things that I see coming for you, which is so beautiful and so stunning. Look at that. It looks like two people, doesn't it? It's so beautiful. Gosh, I love this. Yeah, I mean, look at the fun. Look at the brightness the happiness, the joy, there's laughter coming in for you, right? You're going to have good times ahead and I'm sure you've gone through some really tough stuff. I'm sure you've gone through some dark nights of the soul and I mean, look, you have because this at some point would have been upright. When this is upright, this is heartbreak. When it's upside down, you've ended the cycle, okay? You've ended this cycle of wanting things to be a certain way. This is upside down as well. I do see it. I do see that you're walking away. There might be, this is upside down. There might be some resistance in the walking away, okay? Because it is upside down. Yeah, that is true. You might be resisting leaving that old lifestyle behind. But what I can assure you, what I can tell you for sure, is that if you do it, if you, if you successfully walk away from those old dreams and what wasn't... Oh, sorry. The microphone. There we go. Um, if you successfully do it, then what opens up for you is definitely... I mean, it's definitely this. All these timelines are opening up. And in the timelines, there's a lot of love, a lot of laughter, a lot of joy, a lot of lightness, right? You need that. You need lightness. You need lightheartedness, fun, humor, friends. It's coming. It, and as I say, it might take time, okay? Uh, I, I feel like this isn't coming very, very quickly, but it's definitely coming. And when something isn't coming immediately I actually quite like that because I've had people predict for me that things will come in 10 years time and, so, and sometimes you know you could think whoa 10 years how am I gonna you know what I mean I can't wait 10 years but it's, I've thought about that and I thought you know what if that means I've only got 10 years like I started to see that oh I've only got 10 years do you know what I mean to to do everything I want to do you know by myself like okay, I've only got 10 years, I, I want to pay off my debts, I want to get to this level in my career, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to... You suddenly start to realize, do you know what? I've got a lot 
that I want to do on my own before I have either this partnership or all these people that are going to come in. You're going to have a partnership come in. You're going to have new soul tribe people come in um, where you're just going to have an incredible time. I really feel that. Now, this card here, and I felt such a peace when I was looking at this card. I actually love this card. Now, it might seem like the, the least glamorous card in the deck, right? And it, the colors are pretty drab and it's not looking too crash hot, is it? Chop wood and carry water. It's very zen. But what I sensed when I looked at these cards in relation to everything else was that this is your bliss right now, actually. The fact that you can chop wood and carry water and it's not going to be the glamorous thing of the past okay maybe you were doing a high pressure job in the past or you were earning heaps of money in the past there's something there's some lifestyle change okay and it's almost like you're sort of willing to say do you know what I don't need the big fancy job and the handbags and the cars or whatever it is right you're kind of like I, I want I want a blissful simple every day and I want to help people and I want to be real and I want to do something real with my life and I want to and I feel like you're going to appreciate the realness of your everyday life. You're going to appreciate, oh, it feels so good to, you know, get up each morning and I, I really love my breakfast and I love doing my emails and I love the simple admin that I have to do. You know when you're grateful for the simple everyday things and it kind of, it kind of carries you? You know when, you know when life has been so crazy and then you get to, to do your boring old routine and you're like so grateful because things were too crazy I feel like you're going to find a renewed sense of bliss in the mundane every day right you're going to just be like so grateful for that you know I, I remember in certain offices I've worked in and sometimes the work has been so routine and boring but I've been at times just so grateful for it and um and you know that afternoon coffee with your little cookie or whatever it is that you have right or you know your little like just the simplest things become bliss I really I'm feeling that strongly from this card and I feel like I feel like you're not going to need the external world as much uh, from these two cards to kind of entertain you or to excite you I feel like you're going to find the riches within I feel you're really going to do that and when it comes to these hopes dreams and wishes and what it is you're going to ask for and wish for I feel like some of the stuff that you're going to wish for and ask for is going to be you know um, I want to I want to spend more time in my inner world I want to find the riches within I want to love my every day I want to you know um, I, w I want to drop the outside world and I really want to go deeply within and I want to find this love and laughter in myself first and then I've got something to give to that other person you know um, I really feel like those are going to be the quality of your wishes whereas before maybe your wishes were I want a house I want to be blissfully married I want you know I want stuff right but I feel like that's also coming through this spread massively that the nature of what you wish for um, is, is, is going to take an entire leap up uh, in your life and, it, and it's so beautiful guys I, I just feel like this this is a really beautiful spread and I feel like you're not going to need the outside world too much I think that could be what you're walking away from maybe you're slightly resisting walking away from it and look don't feel like and this is this will help ease this resistance because I know this thing I've definitely gone through this and that is you know I've had to walk away from um, corporate stuff and I'm, I'm very happy making my videos and doing this work but it wasn't easy you know um, to walk away and I still think to myself oh will I go back and do that kind of work again and I might you know we might we might we might go back I tell you this card has made its appearance in my life at so many junctures in so many ways at so many times I know this card really well I know the whole walking away thing and I, very often it's come you know when I'm flying from Sydney to London and I'm, you know <laughs> yeah I've, I've had this I've had this come up a lot and amazingly but amazingly like a lot of the same people are still in my life the, the, the same places are still in my life like I never really moved much in England and 
here I've lived in the same town all my life you know so uh, I keep coming back to the same places but I've changed inside you know and, and I keep dealing with the same people largely but I've changed right and that's and the shift has been within me and um, yeah that's exciting guys that is super exciting so I'm loving this spread for you um, good on you group number two this is a great great spread that you've chosen I hope you've enjoyed this reading please let me know in the comments below I love hearing from you I read every comment and it really helps me to create this work so please let me know how you're doing and um, stay safe out there and and I look forward to to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three you are in the right place Ooh, can you hear that rumble of thunder it's getting a little bit dark as well I hope you can see the cards properly I just had to do this somewhere different today guys because I was feeling a bit cooped up in my room and I wanted to go out and you know what it is it's like sometimes we get cabin fever don't we okay so we've got the eight of swords in reverse card to have in reverse <laughs> uh, I will talk you through it now as with any of my readings have I said this part see I've said it for the other two groups I don't know if I've said it for you please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't it's worth saying twice actually three of cups upright great card to have upright and we've got the two of pentacles upright you've also got two ants on my little makeshift um well this is kind of a whiteboard actually i'm going to be using this as my white oh my god you've got three okay well everybody's turned up for your reading basically <laughs> everyone's here so there's some little anyway <laughs> i tried to get them off earlier but I, I wasn't able to okay you've got libra look at that the diplomat you've got all these people turning up and you're gonna have to be diplomatic to all of them right all these ants okay ant move Ugh, ouch something's biting me oh gosh I'm being bitten by ants as well hmm maybe this wasn't such a good idea <laughs> oh you've got the observer wow yes I do remember this spread now and for Venus energy you've got Venus in the second house how beautiful okay so what do we I don't want to there we go come on mr. ant move go go away yeah good now um <laughs> what have we got going on here guys this is a very good spread when it comes to checking in to your feminine energy what's your feminine energy like where are you at with this well i can go through the other two groups briefly i don't know if you're going to watch those but I'll, I'll just i'll say i might as well just talk through them both first group was very had a lot of masculine energy going on there um, and actually a need to be masculine right i felt the second group was quite balanced i feel like your i feel like your feminine energy is quite possibly the highest actually um i feel like you're in a nice place uh in terms of let's get into it in terms of a few things i'm not getting much of a work vibe for you guys i'm getting quite a bit of a love life vibe and i feel like if some of you are choosing group three consistently there are it's like there are some people here who are dealing with a kind of a twin flame type situation sorry i'm just gonna the ants will distract me otherwise i am like I, i'm very easily distractible today okay I'm outside <laughs> right love life yeah I, I do get a sense that there are some consistent there are some people who, who are picking group three quite consistently and I think you've got a love life thing going on that's what I'm feeling because this is definitely to do with um, to do with romance and I think that you might be in some kind of twin flame situation. I probably said this last week as well. I do feel like this often comes up that someone's observing you. <laughs> someone's uh, checking you out or someone likes to follow you or see what you're up to or see what's new in your world, um, which is fine. That's fine for some people. One of the, uh, me personally, I, I never personally like to do that because it, it depresses me. I, <laughs> when it comes to like looking at someone else's social media, I always feel that, wow, they're super successful and having a wonderful time and then I get depressed. So I, I tend not to do that very much. 
but I feel like someone might be checking you out. Um, and I'm saying twin flame because Libra has come up, okay, which is very much all about relationships. You've also got Venus here in the second house. So it's like, can this be someone that you're going to end up really being with, you know, making a family with, right? Uh, it does feel like that level of connection, potentially. But the thing that I love most about this spread and, and that I just think is absolutely stunning is actually this card, which is the Eight of Swords in reverse. Because this shows me that you have come to a brand new level of acceptance about yourself, about who you are. And you're no longer a victim of the outside world. I feel like you've really grown and matured a huge amount in recent times. And I feel like, you know, when the swords cards are upside down, these swords are falling out. And when this is in its upright position, it's not the best card in the world. I, I have had this card come up for me. Um, at one time it was coming up constantly and consistently and I was like, okay, I really have to learn what this card means. And for me, the Eight of Swords is very much about, it's actually about uh, being a victim, but y it's an illusion. You think you're a victim of all these different things. She thinks she's tightly bound. She thinks she's got all this rope around her and that, you know, she's got a blindfold on and there are all these swords. She th th this clearly feels like a really bad situation but the fact of the matter is that these ropes are always quite loose and all the things that are keeping her shackled they're actually if she just wriggled out a little bit she would you know, if she moved a little bit she would all of that would just fall away and she'd be fine I feel like you are you're loosening all the shackles they're falling off and and if you're ever f feeling victimized or like a victim or any of that I feel like that is dropping away and the the more easier you allow that sh dropping away process to happen the more of this three of cups energy is going to come flooding in for you and this is just celebration joy beauty um you know ants coming and wanting to be your best friend right <laughs> like you know um insects of the world wanting to to be near you all creatures wanting to be near you, but truly uh, you've got a lot of joy here um that's coming in for you and i feel like the and the joy is going to come in more and more the more you let go of anything where you were previously feeling like a victim um you know and this world it does make it easy one, one can easily um, be victimized if you know what I mean it's, it's, it's an easy thing to do and that, that's another thing that I tend to think about um, what it is to feel depressed what it is to feel down what it is to be victimized I always tend to look at that and I think to myself well it's so easy I want to do what's hard you know I want to I want to be joyous I want to be happy do you know what I mean and sometimes it's, it's very easy to do that and I but I feel like you've figured that out I feel like you're at this place or this juncture where you're like do you know what it's so easy to be depressed it's so easy to be a downer it's so easy to be in this energy but I'm deliberately not going to do that anymore and I'm going to do what's hard I'm going to be happy I'm going to be healthy I'm going to find joy in a world that's crying do you know what I mean in a world that is that is there's so much pain everywhere and in such a world it's like what George Orwell says he says that um, you know in such a corrupt world telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act and in in such a painful world being happy becomes a revolutionary act do you know what I mean and I feel like that's where you are you're going do you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna be happy uh, I'm gonna you know have lots of creatures <laughs> come to my party come on ants move it <laughs> but yeah I feel I feel like um, I really feel like you're in a good place the other thing I feel like is that you are very good with the feminine energy actually and I feel like you know how to be diplomatic you know how to 
be with a crowd, be with a group of people who are in conflict. I feel like you've got the natural skills of being able to bring people together, being able to hear the two different sides and say, okay, that, that's your view, and then listen to the other side, okay, that's your view. And you're able to be in the middle and be okay with everybody. You know, the weighing scales, you're able to um, be that neutral person, right? I really think you've got that covered because that's what really came up this week in my mind that I wanted to look at feminine energy because the planet desperately needs it. The other thing that I might do, I don't know if I'll get time to do it tomorrow, but I want to do another mini bonus reading or something which is all about being unshatterable because this concept, and this is kind of coming into this reading here, can you be uh, unshatterable when it comes to things like the truth, say for example, there we go, that was a big ant, oh there's another one here, come on, sorry, they're distracting me, okay, oh he's still there, all right, doesn't matter, <laughs> now Venus in the second house, this is really quite beautiful, I mean, I was saying that there could be a bit of a love connection there, but if it's not that, I feel like you're in a place and a space where you're you're ready to take these shackles off. You want to enjoy. And you know what? I feel like you can enjoy. I feel like you can treat yourself. I feel like you can buy yourself something beautiful or um, you know, maybe you want to indulge in books and art and beautiful food and gorgeous things and you know maybe it's time to sit down and do some drawing or I'm not sure but I feel like that's very much on the table for you now two of pentacles this is an energy of um, it can be juggling yeah. you might be juggling things with your work mm, there's an infinity symbol always with this card and it might feel like when is this when is this plane of existence that I'm on when is it going to end you know it's kind of like am I going to be doing this forever no you're not you're not going to be doing this forever and if you're in this situation with this person let's say for example anybody who's in this twin flame because I'm noticing the group three people they got a little bit of twin flame action going on you're at a distance from someone someone's keeping their eye on you etc etc I would just say I would just say wait actually um, don't do anything it's not for you to do anything that is definitely the sense that I'm getting just wait and and see what happens okay um, you see if Venus was in the third I'd say well maybe speak or reach out or do something no I'm not I'm not getting that I'm not no Venus is here in the second house is stability this is um, this is don't do anything yeah <laughs> I'm getting that quite strongly so um, it's lovely guys it's absolutely lovely and if you can keep emanating a positive energy a deliberately positive energy uh, do you know what I'm tired of depression I'm tired of pain and misery the world is full of it I've mastered that I've done it don't need to do it anymore I'm dumping that and I'm gonna have a good time and I'm gonna deliberately have a good time and I'm gonna you know I'm gonna treat myself right um, and I'm going to be diplomatic amongst all the nutters around me who are arguing <laughs> you know what I mean like it, it, because it's pretty easy to find uh, warring people right now so so you be that person in the middle okay who is who is being diplomatic keeping it all together right you can do that you can easily do that and you can it is a juggling it is a balancing act but I feel like you're doing it beautifully uh, lovely beautiful reading group number three beautiful beautiful energy so I hope this has been a good reading for you please do let me know in the comments below I had to come outside and do this outside here today because as I say I was just getting a bit claustrophobic um, in my room and I needed to come out so if you feel like you need to go outside and cut some fresh flowers and um, be in nature then that's always a good thing to do all right group number three well Please stay safe out there. Please take care. 
of yourself. Please take care of the others around you. Um, it's, it's a weird time in the collective right now, I know. Weird energies, it's not easy. If you feel the need to rest, if you feel the need to recharge, please make sure you do that at this time. Sending you lots of love, take care, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.